Hi there, my name is Tony O, and welcome to an everyday mathematics overview of just some getting started ideas around how we can support continuing learning while students are at home without you. Now, in the event you didn't get answers to specific questions or you have an idea you want to bounce off our everyday math team there's a couple of options number one there's definitely that um, the on-demand help desk and also my email other than that depending on how you're going to log in um, through uh, the actual website or through your district portal if you need any support with just logging in or remembering passwords or any of that good stuff the help desk number right there will um, get you all set up okay so now let's get started now that you're in your grade level specific content, the first thing is really thinking about planning, like where to get the content. And there's a couple of paths. Number one, using your main menu, you do have access to the digital eBooks. And this is going to be all the activity cards, math masters, and your teacher guides that you can pull up and plan from. Returning to the main lesson, um, of the day you have plan your lesson. By clicking that, it's just really a nice isolated um, phase by phase throughout the full cycle of a lesson for you to be able to click on. The little computer that you see means there is a student experience for students to have. Anything they do when they log in, you would be able to actually click in here, and I'm just gonna show you on the focus, to be able to click in. You see where it says evaluate? Clicking again will actually pull up your class list. So just two clicks away, you're able to hop into Kendra to be able to see you know, any student, the work that they've done. Here, she's actually completed um, the math message on her own. Even if you did a full debrief with the class coming back together whole group, you could easily hop in to have students compare, contrast, the way um, each you know, peer solved it. When students complete these on their own, about half of them are self-checking. So just trying to be creative, thinking about what will students do without you? You could either choose to organize little mini lessons where students would log in here and they would follow along the flow of the lesson themselves. And remember, everything students need to solve the tasks, manipulative-wise or whatever, are always going to be in that e-toolkit right there for students to drag out and play. The student reference book at first through fifth is golden. Here they do have a main menu, but if you know the um, page number, then students can just quickly access all of the videos and tutorials that help make these examples come alive. So make sure to check that out. Following the border here, all of your e-tools are listed. Family letters in English and Spanish are at home. Now, this was a good tip. A teacher and I were talking about assignments and how to utilize that in everyday math. And she's like, well, it's mid-year. I'm just gonna assign them a mid-year assessment from the benchmark. You can do that very easily and get instant data. So you can be thinking about what do I want students to practice? And from here, um, just thinking about the games, because we know um, half of what students do should be practice. And at a glance, you can just see no matter what grade you pick, let's just go to third, you're going to have scaffolded options all the way through the program. And so here, I love that idea of purposeful practice without you. And plus games are um, a fun way um, to bring in the families as well. Now we are back in the teacher center and by clicking assignments, these are all the options that you have for assessments. Um, you can modify these. You can also right here is where you would assign that to your class. Now, what is great is you get instant feedback, like we said, but if you wanted um, a step-by-step -step guide of any, not just assessments and assigning, but any features of um, everyday math, the Help Center where there are step-by-step -step guides but also um, video tutorials. And then finally, the last thing that may make a difference in your experience is looking at your planner. And within your planner, because whatever, like today my lesson was 313, that's what students have access to and back. If you need to modify that by pushing, you know, extending a lesson forward, or changing it to a non-teaching day to kind of sync up your days, 
that's a great tip. We do not recommend using the lesson forward or backward because it does stack lessons. Um, but if you need any help syncing up your calendar, that would be a great example of one of the getting started guides or to call the help desk or to give me an email. So I wish you lots of love and luck on your journey and have a good day.